and I see a man <laughs> just all dark go walk right past there, right on the on the porch, like headed towards Andrew's room. My legs and hands are, up, are shaking so bad climbing down that. That's the scariest shit I've ever done. <laughs> You ready? There is a connection between the paranormal, UFOs, and the myths of ancient history. The clues are scattered across the landscape from a forbidden past, maybe even in your own backyard. There is a connection between the true nature of our reality, consciousness, and the unexplained. I'm Carl the Crusher. Let's explore the unknown. Andrew, tell everybody what your TikTok and everything is. Oh, hey guys. Well, my name is Andrew, aka Smithereens. You can find me on what TikTok, Instagram. Yeah, I'm excited to be out here. This place is uh, this is incredible. I'm excited. Andrew's first yeah. swimming with sharks and skinwalkers for real experience. If they're out. Here, if, they're, if they exist, I feel like they're out here. Well, see, so Andrew, he started out like me, doing like fun skits, like, "Well, I'm gonna go out and prove that skinwalkers aren't real." <laughs> So I messaged him and I was like, you want to come get a taste of the real thing, buddy? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. Careful what you wish for. <laughs> what is that? Oh my God, it's wild horses. Look at that. There was wild horses in the meadow. Oh my God, that scared me so bad. Is that what they were? I might need to get my thermal imager out. Where'd they go? Oh my god, there's wild horses down in the meadow. Oh, it looked like these big shadow figures out here. my thermal image out. Dude, I swear he was just walking up behind me. Is that horses or what is that, dude? He's gonna walk right out on him. It's horses. the heck what is going on it's seriously why a, a herd of wild horses holy shit it's a whole herd of wild mustangs <laughs> i know i was I was pointing the thermal imager at it and filming with my phone, but I don't know if I even hit record on the thermal with those deer or with the, I keep calling them deer. Is it heard of horses, wild mustangs? I'm gonna have to set my trail camera up. We're jumping right into it tonight. We might go live on TikTok. We're getting ready to, are you gonna go live? I think I'm gonna go live. We're gonna go live on TikTok from the saloon. stream on TikTok. I've been doing meditations in here. We totally filmed on the thermal imager. Some something move outside the building. We <laughs> both saw it. Dude, I have the craziest feeling over here like something is watching me from this doorway. I looked over there and got the strangest emotional feeling looking over here like it felt like this, like a little kid was staring at me or something. It was. Some, I just felt some like. Oh, that was weird. Like By the that. bathrooms. Why are all my videos gone? Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, by the bathrooms. When, when you were walking uh, so, past the bathrooms, you feel like someone's watching you from inside. Which one? The far one? The one on their right? The right-hand side, yeah. The so min? The min? Like, yeah. Once we started, I'm standing right here, and I planted this right here, like I was telling you, yeah. spikes to about 43 to 47. Um, didn't really feel anything weird. And then when I walked through there, I started to feel strange, but not super weird. But like a little, I, I felt like just chills. Yeah. I did a lap. As soon as I came back around, I came in here, pointed it at the staircase. It spiked to 45, got all the way up to 48, when I, right when I went halfway up the stairs, and then it dropped up there. Came back down, and then I went into that room. And as soon as I went into that room, I just felt like I, I literally you feel I super was weird, right? Stacky. Yeah. Like I felt weird. As soon as I went in that bathroom, I caught up my video. As soon as I went in that bathroom, I spiked to 53. Really? And I got the weirdest feeling. I like I felt like super cold, like really, really cold, and like really, really like tingly, staticky. Yeah. And like it felt like something was there. Like this is bad. <laughs> I know. I hear you, dude. Oh, Where's the light for in here? Yeah, this room has been making me. Oh my gosh, not feel great. Wrong one. Like how else do you, how else do you explain that? I don't know. Uh, well, brain is I've been trying to explain it by going through all the history of everybody who's been up here and like yeah. what they were doing and their credentials and the science behind all that. Here's 100% what just happened. So I was sitting in the lodge in the chair in there doing a contact protocol, like a CE5 meditation, but my own version. So it's like a meditation. I go into this altered state of consciousness, like a trance kind of, and then I visualize like I'm going into this, uh, a room that I have designed in my mind that has doorways and stuff anyways. So I opened these doors and invited um, whatever's here in this other dimension to come through. And then all of a sudden I felt this strong compulsion to open my eyes and look. And I opened my eyes and out the window, no joke, I'll show you like, I'll turn my camera around and show you what I saw. So Andrew is sitting in the saloon in here and he's doing a live stream on TikTok while all this is going on. And uh, he just feels, whoa, dude, I just got the weirdest feeling walking past this door too. Did you all feel that? All spooked out in here. Andrew just walked in here and recorded a radiation spike in here too. So yeah, so anyway, so I'm in, in this room in here in the lodge. Dude, I'm seeing stuff out of the corner of my eye all over the place now. <laughs> yeah, I'm all weirded out right now. I'm just being honest. Okay, yeah, so I'm sitting here like this in this chair meditating. And I kind of look this way, lights are on down there. Andrew's in the saloon back in there, live streaming. And then what made you even, were you, you filming on the thermal the whole time or you just decided? No, 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 no. so I, I just felt weird. Like I've never felt weird like that before. I just felt really weird. And I was like, I should turn on the thermal camera right now. And like clockwork, as soon as I turned it on, was when you said something, and I was just about to be like, "Hey, yeah, that was weird." And I was like waiting for Jeff to open the door because I was like, "Oh, Jeff's probably coming to hang out with us." Me too. And then the bells didn't ring, and the door didn't open, and I saw it just keep going, and I was like, "Yeah, no, that that wasn't Jeff." No. 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 You saw that? What? Did you see something? I thought I saw somebody walk in front of your vehicle, like towards your room. I just saw someone out there. Outside? Yeah. Yeah, I did see it.
No. No? No. You saw that? What? Did you see something? I thought I saw somebody walk in front of your vehicle, like towards your room. I just saw someone out there. Outside? Yeah. Yeah, I did see it. I thought Yeah, someone they walked. The window, there's no, there was someone there, like a hundred percent. Like no no joke. Guys, there was... I saw somebody walk across oh, the front in front of your room. 100%. So I saw them, I turned literally just turned the thermal imaging camera off. I caught it on the thermal imaging. It looked like a full body. And I walked right here. You seriously filmed it? No, I didn't get it on the thermal, though. Oh, I, don't, I had just turned the thermal camera off. And it went right towards your room, dude. <laughs> what the hell? I was sitting in this chair. I'll show you. I was sitting in here, looking up, and I was doing the meditation. Huh? And as soon as I started doing the meditation, I had this impression like someone was pushing their forehead against mine. And I was like, whoa. And I had to get through all of that. And then went through all of it. And then right before I stood up and looked, I opened There's nobody else here. So I, was, I felt compelled. So I opened my eyes. So it's like this. So I look up like this. And I see a man, <laughs> just all dark, go walk right past there, right on the, on the porch, like headed towards Andrew's room, the shaman room. So I get up and I look like this. And then I don't see anybody. And there's no lights on in his room. I go, yo, is your friend here? <laughs> I thought you're, maybe your buddy showed up and he went to find your room. Oh. But he's not here. You just called him. He's not here. He's very far from <laughs> seven hours away. So then we walk out here and there's nobody there. We walked all the way over to the room. And here's what's crazy. We caught it on the thermal. <laughs> there's just like a, a split second where you see something move outside the window. Like nobody walked this way, right? The wild horses running through was crazy earlier. Here's, those are, that's knickknack going the other way like this morning. Those are old footprints. There's nobody back here. There could be. I mean, yeah. even when we had the entire history channel here, they we caught something on thermal in the corner of the room. I'm not even joking. Really? Yeah. be interesting for me to do a meditation down here while you're in the saloon and we like Ooh, yeah so the the original scientists that were here they were all into doing what they called uh like uh, they called it bio elf coupling they were trying to get a brain to psychically couple with another mind or another consciousness they were trying to link link two brains together and so they were trying to channel entities by doing that. Wow. Just by coming together? Just by doing a resonance, like wow. with music and meditation and then frequencies and lasers and everything. It's like, it's like, I want to say it's like 7,000 lumens, but like this is the lowest. Holy, holy smokes, yeah. Dude, we should shine that over the meadow. Oh, yeah, see if we I get a spotlight too. I'm telling you, the chances of seeing a UFO here are very high. That's what I want to see. <laughs> you should point that right up at the sky. 
Back Whoa, open? yeah, dude. Point it right at Mount Wilson where the, yeah, to your right more. Keep going, right, right up there. Yes. I'm telling you, when we've had crews here and done this, we've filmed and captured some crazy stuff. <laughs> like with the equipment. So you said there was a path that people have taken that like they came back super scared? Yeah, this one. We're walking it right now. People have seen like stuff staring at them from the tree line up in the to the right. Red eyes. <laughs> Glad you brought that flashlight, dude. It's dark out. That's yeah, a dark night. I was just thinking that too. It's like the moon's barely out. Yes. Hey, uh, we saw your light. You good? Like, oh, you okay? Yeah. I literally, so at our station where I work, our entire station was watching the live stream. They're like, we're gonna play it on the big TV. <laughs> nice. People have seen orbs of light and weird stuff come out of these ponds, too. This pond is pretty eerie. Yep. All the water in the dark is the eerie. Don't fall in, Carl. <laughs> it's not exactly even. Oh, it's not bad. Holy crap. There's an owl down there. Oh, I swear I just saw eye shine. Here is the entrance. We are now going to go over to this mine entrance or one very much like this. And this descends into the mountain as such. Look at this. You get a sense of what we're dealing with here. Look at the depth of this tunnel system, how far down it goes, where it goes, and it does not stop. Down, 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 clear off the map into the mountain. Look like this line here. These are, this is level 1200. 1,200 feet down. Some of these are 1,450. So, okay, <clears throat> that's where we're headed. 
that right. Lovelock Cave Land of the Giants, so that spans all the way from the Grand Canyon clear across to Lovelock, though. Like, oh. I could take you to spots and canyons and show you markings that it's the like Land of the Giants and warnings of the Six Fingered Giants, like from Grand Canyon all the way across. Right. Just so people have an idea. Yeah, that's a little bit of a drop. There's literally ice on the floor. There's a stalagmite of ice. Bicycles on the ceiling. That's water dripping off like ding. <laughs> Yo! It just goes in and up and back. 
Yo, Skinwalker! Jeff left us. <laughs> oh, that's what I was walking on? Great. This is crazy. It's insane that they hauled all this stuff down in here. There's still cables on here. Wow. Can't film this part, fellas. Sorry. What the fuck? This is made out of a pallet. This ladder is a pallet. And we're climbing down into the shaft. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's not a ladder. Oh my God, that's where we just came down from. Leeching through here. Wow, that's beautiful. Shit. That's two ladders zigzaggy down. Uh -huh. Good God, lost, don't go left. They just lost the ladder run down here. Do not go left. <laughs> Holy shit, that's scary. I just realized where I'm standing is right on the edge of a giant no-no. Holy shit. That's like, you're going down to Never Never Land if you go left there. <laughs> oh my God. You're going to enter the back rooms if you go that way. <sighs> I'm climbing down this and I <laughs> if you lose your footing there you're never coming back <laughs> no way you're literally mine minecraft in real life yes I'm taking a ride look at this ladder we climbed down my legs and hands are, are shaking so bad climbing down that. That's the scariest shit I've ever done. See that one right there, that third one? That's the one that gave out on me. Yeah. That gave out on you? Yeah. Damn, dude. That was terrifying. That took me like 20 minutes to get down that garbage. I just get in it. You just get in it and go. Dude. It's got some torch. Just hit the on switch. What? Ooh. It's got a tilt mode. Alright, so keep your hands inside the ride at all times. Yeah, okay. okay. It gets a little tight. You ready? Yeah. Do you want another light there? Huh? Do you want my flashlight? Uh, I'm good. I got my headlamp on. Yeah, keep your hands straight against the side. Okay. Oh my god. What the heck, dude? I'm riding in a minecart. <laughs> what the heck, dude? That's wild. This is crazy. Whoa. I can't believe we just did that. <laughs> we legit just rode in a minecart. Look at this. Oh, we're rolling back. Ready? Yes. Oh, you're gonna push me back? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Are we going the same speed? Sure. This is so funny. Look, they got all the pipes. Oh, shit. Yeah, it just bangs off the side. <laughs> all their test, test holes here trying to chase this copper and stuff. But I 
bless you. Thank you. This is so sketchy. <sighs> My turn. No. Tight squeeze there. That was fun, man. I'm not sure. Again, thank you guys for this. This is by far the best trip I think I've ever, ever had. It does look like an owl face. It does. On camera. <laughs> this big rock is new, feels new. Those are crazy looking. I dare you to lick it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you might get something gross here. It is cold when it hits your neck. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way we're gonna go any further. It's completely flooded out. All the way back. Whoa. This is horrifying looking. <laughs> that is so creepy. Usually this is not all full of water, so I just go for it. We've been in plenty of places with nasty water. I didn't expect this today. That's funny. It's amazing how the light ripples off the top of the cave when I move the flashlight. Look at that. It's beautiful. Creepy and beautiful. Do you hear those sounds coming through the earth, man? I don't know about this one. <sighs> it's a peaceful end. You're saying you heard that thumping down in there too and the splashing? Yeah, I recorded it. Hopefully it comes out on video. Oh, weird. Yeah, I heard it. Was it before I went down there? No, well, Carl heard it before. It's like, it sounds like a drumming noise, real low, like a subwoofer. Like a boom, boom, boom. I heard it after. What a 
day. What a day. Here is the plan. We're gonna replicate what happened last night. <clears throat> it was just last night, it feels like three, four days ago now. <laughs> So you're gonna sit down here. I'm gonna go in the lodge and meditate again. And you're gonna go upstairs? Okay. Or wherever you want. Yeah, I see, yeah, go upstairs. Okay, and then, yeah, I'm gonna do the exact same protocol that I did, meditation, and see if we get anything on the thermal. Whatever. And where should we put the thermal? Upstairs or downstairs? Uh, downstairs, downstairs probably. Okay. So I'll go thermal. Yeah. And then you want to record okay. on your phone. From I'll just right? keep my phone ready. But. They left the lights on in their room over there. See that? And they're both still in the swim. And I could have sworn I, I saw somebody in the window over there. So I'm gonna sit in here all by myself. I'm gonna be like living bait in here with the modular sensor and with my camera. And then I gave my thermal to Andrew and they're gonna go walk all the way down to the settler's cabin, walk a loop through the whole property. This is one of the first times we've had somebody from the outside come and walk up through this whole area alone without myself or Jeff going with them. I think Andrew is cut out for this. He does this all the time at home. He usually does it like kind of lighthearted on his TikTok and everything, more like having fun with it. And he's ready to do the real deal. And now he's here, I'm gonna go do the real deal. So I'm gonna get set up. I'll keep my camera on a tripod down here and we'll watch down these hallways. I'm gonna do a meditation and see if we have any experiences here in the saloon again tonight. Right now it's super quiet. There's no one else in here. I don't know if that was dust or what that was. That looks like backscatter dust to me, floating in the air, I don't know. It has, looks like fireflies buzzing around in the saloon right now. Whoa. I just gave my thermal imager to uh, Andrew. came back in here to turn all the lights off and the energy in here is weird right now. Whoa. I just had the weirdest feeling go through my body. Whew, like cobwebs. If there's anybody in here, can you make a sound or knock on something for me? That is cool. That is weird looking. Big 
Dipper and the North Star. I'm just looking in the window there. It looks like a shadow moving back and forth along the wall there. There's nothing in there. There's Orion. there's anyone in the minor diner, can you please walk past the window? Let's go see. Look at that Kachina doll just staring at us at the end of the hallway. Ooh. Here's the plan. No one else is in here. No one else is up above. Andrew's outside walking down in the lower meadow. So I'm going to sit here. And you guys can watch out the window and down the hall while I do my meditation. You guys gotta watch for me. I mean, I have my eyes closed. Oldwood building. Man, I'm getting weird feelings already.
there's anyone here with me, can you make yourself known? She's been sitting down here in the saloon. They did a whole live stream TikTok and walked all the way up the meadow. They're all the way up. They're going to be walking back down by the shaman house, right through the flake zone. <laughs> and I've been hearing something moving around on the roof up here. And I went live on TikTok and went out and walked all the way around the whole building. Nothing out there. But it's like there was something scratching around up on the rooftop and the dogs just started going bonkers outside. We did it again, guys. Whew, another paranormal ghost hunt night. We're not done yet, we gotta walk down the hill. Man, my legs are all already sore from hiking up that mountain today, going up to the mines. That was a crazy straight up hill. Uh, I didn't film much of climbing up it because I was so out of breath. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> it has been a wild adventure up here with Andrew. Oh my gosh. We went all into those caves, went all over the place. We focused a lot on the paranormal side of things. The uh, meditation experiments in the saloon here were amazing and whatever the thermal experience was i don't understand it i don't know what happened it doesn't make sense that we captured a thermal heat signature in the hallway that seems like it would require something physical an actual person or a body in the hallway but there is nothing on the camera the angle of the reflection on the windows doesn't make sense because when that was captured on the thermal, not only was there nothing caught on the security camera down the hallway, but there's no one else in the building. And I was just sitting in this chair over here. So I'm sitting in this chair looking out the window and it captures not only a bodily figure in the hallway, but like a reflection in the glass, like there's someone standing in the hallway actually there with a reflection off the glass captured on the thermal. And we captured data on the gamma sensor and the microwave data it has a gap in the microwave data. Right when this thing turns and moves this way <laughs> or like into the room, I don't know. So it is what it is. All I can say is that when the History Channel was here, it happened two other times. It happened once in the shaman room and again down in the settler's cabin where their equipment, their FLIR thermal imager caught this like a phantom human figure that had a thermal heat signature like a person standing there and reflecting in the glass, but there's no one in there. And so I don't know what to make make of all that. We'll see if that comes out in the TV show, but that seems to be one of the phenomena that is occurring here. And this MoopOS device is one of the original beta testing devices that I've had at my home and then decided to bring up here to Mount Wilson to try and get the experiments and the process going. The problem with that is that this MoopOS device is not functioning well up here at the ranch. So we have made the decision that we're going to take this and we're gonna bring it back to my house and continue the MUPAS live streams and everything that we're doing with that project uh, as part of the home system. It has all this bundled together in here and it was one of the first designs that Jim came up with and we've been testing it out up here and we're having a hard time sorting out what's real and what's not. To get clean data, we're gonna wait for one of the new devices to come out and Jim is getting really close to finishing that up. 
So I'm gonna take this one back to my house. We're gonna do comparative data as part of the home study through my Patreon page on Carl Crusher, and we're gonna suspend the uh, MUPAS program over on the Mount Wilson Patreon for now. But if you wanna see what's going on with the home study as part of paranormal phenomena, when I have like weird dreams or experiences or poltergeist activity, like the hitchhiker effect in my home, I'm gonna to continue to try to hook this up at my house, collect the data, and I'm gonna be sharing that on my Patreon group that is part of the team that supports me in that. You can also get these devices and pre-order them, and Jim will custom build these and the new ones that you can get for your home, but uh, you know those take a long time. They take about four to six weeks to hand build each one. It's gonna be a whole process. We were only here for about 48 hours, and we covered a ton of ground going clear underground and staying up late into the night exploring all this place make sure and go follow andrew smithereens i'm going to put the links all down below on tiktok and instagram and everywhere you're going to love his content it's all family friendly and he goes out to all kinds of cool places this was his first real experience coming to somewhere that was like government researched and studied that has real paranormal activity going on and he saw his first full body apparition that we both saw right there in the hallways. So make sure and go subscribe to him, check out all of his content, follow us everywhere. All the links are down below and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.